Now this lure is able to move on its own. It has a little propeller in the front of the lure that spins. It goes on for a couple seconds and turns off for a couple seconds and it gets that lure moving on its own. And the tail is actually segmented. So as that lure propels forward, it gives a lifelike motion of that tail of the lure. So then open it up. What you're gonna find inside of the box is a charging cable. That's gonna be one of the first things you pull out. This is a charging cable that charges the lure because it is uh, battery powered. There's a battery inside the lure. You can't take the battery out, but there is one in there, so it recharges, it, uh, recharges itself. And you can see it connects to a USB. So what you can do if you have one of those little USB wall chargers, you can use one of those and plug it in and then attach the connectors to the lure, which I'm gonna show you here in a second, and then you can plug it in and charge it. Now, the way that you would charge these lures is using the charging cable. What I like is that there's no open you know, holes or anything that you have to plug anything into. It's just these little alligator clips. And the way these connect, that top ring where you would tie your line to, that's where you would connect the positive end or the red end. And then the one below on the first hook in the front, that ring right there is where you would connect the negative end. So you would connect it there, then you would plug that into your power source, whether it be your computer, one of those wall charger USB connectors, or a power supply, one of those uh, rechargeable power supplies you use to recharge your phone or any type of mobile accessory. Those work very well also. And when you plug it in, you're gonna notice a blue light come on right behind the eye. That light indicates that it's charging. Now, once that light goes off, it's done charging. And again, it takes about 45 minutes to an hour to fully charge the battery in the lure. This is the lure here. As you can see, it has a little propeller on the front of the lure or the tip of the mouth. And then the body is segmented. So as that lure propels forward by the little propeller, the body will actually start swimming. So it has a really lifelike action. That's one of the pros, I guess you can say, of the lure, what I like about it. Very lifelike. Also, the detailing on the colors and everything on the body is really nice. It's not uh, very fake looking. It looks pretty realistic as far as the paint job goes on there. So that's definitely another plus of the lure. Now, one other thing I really like about the lure is you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is cast it out and it will sink down. It's pretty heavy, it sinks down, so you have to use a bobber. Uh, depending on how deep you're fishing, you wanna have a bobber above the lure. Make sure the bobber is big enough because again, these are pretty heavy. So if there's a small bobber on there, it's gonna actually drag the bobber down. So going back to the last thing that I liked about the lure again, as I said, you don't have to do anything. You cast it out and as soon as it hits the water, it's gonna sink down. About 10 to 12 seconds later, you'll see it start moving around. And that lure moves by itself. You don't have to do anything. And it's really good if you're fishing with kids because it's pretty neat for them to use if you can cast it out and they can just see it swimming around, see their bobber moving around, and hopefully a fish will grab it. So again, very easy to use. Don't have to do anything.